There are a number of reasons that users may be unable to log into Salesforce, ranging from something as simple as an incorrect password to attempting login outside of permitted hours or IP ranges. We're going to focus on passwords. As an admin, learning how to identify the issue will help you troubleshoot more effectively. Let's look at a scenario. Pia Larson emailed the admin to say that she's getting an error message when she tries to log in. She said she's logged in before without any problems. What should an admin do in this situation? Let's jump into the org. When a user lets an admin know that they're having trouble logging in, the first thing the admin should do is go look at the login history on their user record. To get to Pia's user record, I have a couple options. The first is to use my left-hand menu. I can expand my list of users and click on users to be taken to a list of my users. My personal preference is to use the global search at the top of setup. I can search for Pia by name and then click on the result to be taken directly to her user record. From her user record, I'm going to hover over the login history. This shows when, where, and how she's attempting to log into the system. What I'm really looking for is her status, which gives me more information about her login attempts. If I don't see any login attempts here, it means she's using the wrong username, or maybe is even going to the wrong URL. In this case, Pia can't log in due to a password lockout. If a user has too many failed login attempts, meaning they incorrectly enter their credentials too many times, they can get locked out of the system. The maximum number of invalid attempts is defined in the password policies for the org or a user's profile. When a password lockout occurs, the lockout period can be temporary or require an admin reset. Our next step is determining what to do to help the user resolve their password issue. As a general practice, you can encourage users to reset their passwords on their own by clicking the Forgot Your Password link from the login page. But this option won't work for users who are locked out. If a user has too many invalid login attempts and gets locked out, you'll see an unlock button at the top of their user record. Clicking this unlocks them and allows them to attempt to log in again. If they continue to experience issues, you can reset their password for them. For a user who's locked out, clicking Reset Password simultaneously unlocks them and resets their password. Let's take a look at where you can set the maximum login attempts and lockout periods in Setup. Back in Setup, I'm going to use the Quick Find on my left-hand menu to search for password policies. Here I can set different requirements around passwords, login attempts, and lockout period. You'll see an option to specify the maximum number of invalid login attempts they get. How many times can they get their credentials wrong before they get locked out of the system? Then we can specify the lockout effective period in different increments, or I can say forever, an admin has to reset them if they lock themselves out. When troubleshooting login access, the first thing you should do is look at the user's login history. Encouraging users to reset their own passwords is another great option for any user who isn't locked out. Don't forget to review your password policies and follow best practices, setting password restrictions and lockout policies for your users.